Hey there everyone, it is I, Pierre Alice, and this is officially the first video on voicing. Unless you count that mini snowfall remark at the end of the last meme. Fine. Does this mean I, I get to be best child? Husband and wife. So I really wanted to make voice videos in the past, but I've always felt so super nervous about it that I almost completely abandoned the idea. And that was until I got an email some weeks ago from Gaumon asking if I'd like to review one of their newest tablet models. And that's when I thought, you know what, this would be cool, I'd like to review this tablet. So thanks Gaumon for being so kind and offering me this chance, and for giving me the push I needed to break out of my shell. I'll start by showing you how I set up the tablet and how it works in TV Paint and Clip Studio, which I use to make the speed paint. So let me start by saying that I personally love this tablet and genuinely enjoyed working with it. I really like the texture and the amount of customizable options it has. It is very lightweight and it fits perfectly in your school hardened bag, which is super useful since I have to travel constantly. The tablet also comes with so many goodies. These include an artist glove, a mat with some useful Photoshop shortcuts, a bag and a couple of pouches to store the pen and tip replacements. It also comes with adapters for mobile devices. It also comes with a sticker cover, which slightly changes the drawing texture. So setting up the tablet is super easy. The first thing you do is download the corresponding driver from the Gaumon website. Just inserting the specifics of your device on the search bar immediately gives you the driver you need. After that, it's just installing the driver, plugging in the tablet, and that's it. I personally also had to change some security settings on my Mac to get the pressure to work, but just go on to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and go to the Privacy tab and in the Accessibility option, allow the Gaumon driver. And that's it! The tablet has two sets of keys. These are the express keys, which you can customize to, for example, switch brushes, zoom in or out of the canvas, or changing the brush size. There's also a set of multimedia keys at the top. You can use this to do stuff like play music, control the volume, save, and opening task manager, some buttons that are useful for a Mac that the salesperson told you definitely does not freeze. Drawing with this tablet has been very nice. I didn't draw on PC as much before, but I've just found it so comfortable using it that I've been practicing backgrounds non-stop in Clip Studio for the past weeks. So here I am, drawing a background that started being for the Wings of Fire AMV. I'm not entirely sure if I'll use it now though, since it was supposed to be nighttime or at least dawn, but ended up drawing it during the daylight, as I really like the colors from the Genshin Impact concept art and just wanted to try it out. For the grass I am using a brush set by Devon L. She has a super good tutorial on how to make Ghibli styled paintings of fields. It doesn't only include grass brushes but also stuff like trees, bushes and flowers. I have put a link in the description to her video if you're interested. While well, drawing I've been finding the shortcut keys really useful. With the lateral buttons I can switch between eraser and pen with one click. You can adjust what the side wheel does by pressing the button on the center. You can also control any music that's playing with some buttons on the top of the tablet. That also works with YouTube which I discovered by accident. It may sound weird, but I especially like sa the saving button, as I really need to be saving all the time. I mean, constantly, every five minutes or so. Uh, yeah, I have a problem. So I've been doing this since uh, one time at school where I had to make a 20 minute presentation. I think I only saved once at the beginning of making it, uh, just as I was finishing, the internet just went down and I lost everything. So yeah, the trauma has followed me since. <laughs> so yeah, always save your work and make several copies just in case some become corrupt. Uh, so yeah, just tapping the save button is great. <laughs> For the drawing, at first I was going to draw clay, tsunami, etc, that group. But then I thought it would be cuter to draw Moon instead when she first arrives to Jade Mountain Academy. I wanted her to be next to her mother, Secret Keeper, looking all nervous and like with a face of abandonment. I also wanted to emphasize how Secret Keeper is just wanting her to have the best life. So that's why uh, I wanted to show how thin and malnourished she was when compared to her daughter. So, you know, despite everything he, she has been through, it has been worth it for her. 
I also like to think that they're standing on top of Darkstalker's mound. Mountain? I guess it's more like a hill in this picture. I don't know. Like, Agate Mountain, was it called? So yeah, just wanted to do that as a little foreshadowing. So I'm going to go silent for a bit now and let you enjoy the rest of the speed paint. I'll just say a last bit of information about the tablet on mobile devices at the end. last thing I'd like to mention about the tablet is that it does work with mobile devices. You can see the specifics on screen. One important thing to note though is that your experience with it on mobile will depend on what app you use to draw. This is because of a couple of things. Firstly, it'll be easier to know where you're drawing on the screen if the app has a cursor option available to turn on. The second thing to note is that on mobile the available drawing space is half of the tablet in vertical mode, which means that for some apps, you have to move your canvas around while drawing. For me, I'm gonna stick to using it on a PC. So yeah, if you'd like a non-expensive light tablet, I do recommend this one. I know I'll be using it a lot. You can find the link to it and more information in the description. And thanks for watching! See you in the next video, which will probably be the Ruby map part. Bye!